for my new quick change tool post, I've already made a new clamping bolt to be able to fix it onto the lathe in my fixed tool post. What I now want to do is modify the original compound slide that came with the lathe to allow me to fit the quick change tool post onto this. To make the quick change tool post fit, therefore I'm going to have to modify the original compound slide and do something with this boss so I can actually get the quick change tool post to slide down onto the clamping bolt. The bore on the quick change tool post is 16 millimeters. Uh, I think this is 22 mil. Uh, and if I reduce it down to 16, it's going to leave it probably quite thin. I don't know quite how much it is recessed to allow the clamping bolt up through. The first thing I need to do really is get that bolt out, which is not proving to be too easy. I'm not really sure how that clamping bolt is secured into the top of the compound slide. Uh, looking at the parts list, it, it doesn't give any detail. It doesn't look like it's screwed in. Therefore, it's either pressed or Loctited in. Either way, I can't get it out right now. I've tried beating it with a hammer. I've tried pressing it, albeit only using a vice. Um, and it certainly won't unscrew. The first challenge was to remove the roll pin from this little hole here, which I guess is ultimately to stop the post from rotating in the top of the compound slide. It's a blind hole, so getting the roll pin out was a challenge, to say the least. What I ended up doing was just using a very small drill to go down through the centre of the roll pin, and then using increasingly large drills to effectively bore the roll pin inside out. So it's now been removed but I still can't turn that bolt and I still can't make it come out by pressing or beating it with a hammer. I don't really need that. I can make a new one. I prefer a new one that would suit the, the full depth of the tool post anyway, or the quick change tool post. So turning a new clamping bolt won't be any big challenge. As such, I'm minded now just to drill it out, so use a center drill, mark the center there, and just keep using increasingly large drills to take me up to that diameter, which I think is right about 10 mil, maybe 12, I'll, I'll have a check before I do it. So that's what I do, I'll stick this in the uh, milling machine or the mill drill and drill that out and see how we get on. As we can see, I've not messed around, I've got straight with the hacksaw, lopped off the top part of the clamping bolt, and I'm now just gonna center drill it and then run a few drills through to... Right, I've drilled that out, uh, I think it's 9.5 mil I've taken out to so far. Okay, a bit of perseverance and it's popped out nicely, so it's not locked tight, I guess that was a press fit. Now I wonder, that's, so that is 21.9, so 22 mil out of diameter and the hole is 10 mil. So if I reduce that to 16, that gives a boss of 3 mil thickness all the way around. I'm minded just to take that off, straight off in the milling machine. With the old clamping bolt now removed, it's just a case really of flattening off this old stub. As you can see, I've used the hacksaw to remove the bulk of it. I'll now just take that down flat with the end mill. Okay, what I do now is actually tap that whole M12, and then it's just a case of turning down a new clamping bolt. I've got the quill centered over the hole. I'm now just going to run an M12 tap down through it. It's meant to be a 10.2 millimeter diameter hole for M12, um, but this is only 10 mil. So I'm going to run it down and see how I get on. I'll start it off in the mill and probably then move it onto the bench. Perfect. The clamping bolt has now been completed in terms of the turning operations. So we've got an M12 thread at the bottom. The main diameter is 16 millimeters to suit the quick change tool post. And then I've got an M10 fine, so that's M10 by one threaded part at the top for the clamping bolt. There is a slight shoulder, which is 15.5 millimeters diameter, again, to suit the quick change tool post.
Okay, as we can see, the clamping bolt is now being chemically blued and looking quite nice. I've turned up this small washer to sit on the bottom. The bolt is screwed in quite tight now into the compound slide. And I'll also now secure it with this thick washer that sits under the bottom. And then for a screw to hold it in place. I will eventually lock tight this, but for now I'm going to just screw it in tight. As we can see, I've now reassembled the compound slide and refitted it onto the lathe carriage. The outside diameter of the clamping bolt is 16 millimeters, which aligns to the bore of the quick change tool post. And as you can see, there's a small shoulder there at 15.5 millimeter diameter, which aligns to the top part of the quick change tool post. It's a nice snug fit. And the clamping nut with handle fits on nicely.